define not only economic evolutions, but also social evolutions on the basis of materials of construction. It's the Stone Age, it's the Bronze Age, it's the Iron Age. From a green sustainability standpoint, I mean, materials are a huge cost uh, on the environment. You know, whether it's extraction or production or disposal, our ability to understand materials is the linchpin in everything from energy issues to poisoning our environment with various chemicals. How do we optimize materials to have less impact on the environment? We're looking at a lot of different manufacturing processes, a lot of different materials. We try to see if we can find a better way to manufacture something, if we can find a better material. So we're developing in those areas. If you think about a car, for example, today, that is two ton, if you imagine then using augmented materials, so composite, of a new revolution using carbon on your tube, you will be able probably to reduce this car to 500 kilo. Then actually you can imagine the impact it can have on the CO2 emission. 3D printing, for an example, is one way to cut out a lot of steps that are involved in a finishing process. You can produce a part directly. You don't have to finish it. You're not subtracting out material and causing waste. New technology is enabling a whole lot of things that we couldn't do before. We're in a position now where a human can't really think about controlling a million different parameters about a material. But if we bring AI into the mix and we bring data into the mix, we can rapidly start to optimize all of those parameters so that we know how to get to that ideal material most quickly. We can't continue to expand or maintain the current level of population unless we have major new changes in the way we develop materials. If we can make new materials faster, if we can come up with new, more performant materials more quickly, we are going to finally get to a greener world all that much more quickly.